So following your promotion from last season, you must be absolutely delighted to actually get that over the line. Yeah, we, we, we're delighted, absolutely delighted to get that promotion over the line. Um, I shouldn't say it, but I will say it. I feel like the Spanish authorities, footballing authorities, they've got something against us. Obviously, we won the league last season and you know we couldn't get promoted because they had to go to the playoff system. We, we didn't win that. This time, they wouldn't let us postpone the fixture so we could get our players who are in international duty to actually play in the game. We had to go the hard way through those promotion playoffs. So in my opinion, the Spanish authorities have something against us, whether that's because we're from Gibraltar, whether it's because we're doing things slightly differently, whether it's because we've got high ambitions and we're going to meet those ambitions, I don't know, but we're, we're going to get there. Some very strong words there. Do you want to call out the Spanish footballing authorities? Yeah, I would. Um, I'll call out every single member of the Spanish FA. You know, I'll call them out. You know, if, if you've got an issue with us as a club or me as a manager, let me know. You know, if you want to start a war, I'm up for a war. That That's all I'll say. But we're looking forward to our, our, our new season coming up in the Spanish Division Pro A. So we are really looking forward to seeing you in your new division. Can we follow the progress anywhere? Yeah, you can You can follow us actually. Uh, if you download the One Football app, which is free in the top line of the description of this video, download that, you can get all the latest scores, updates, and transfer news from around the world. It's really good for transfers, particularly all the high profile ones that you wanna keep track of. With the news tab, you can keep up to date with all the news going on in world football, including when we get to January, and of course the summer, the January and summer transfer window. So that's really good. So I would massively appreciate it if everyone could download the One Football app from the link in the description. Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 3 and welcome to the start of Season 4 with today's Transfer Special where hopefully we're going to build a squad capable of being just not getting relegated from the new division that we're going to be starting in. Of course, we got promoted last episode in very dramatic style in the final game of the playoffs, so that was really exciting, and I'm glad that we managed to come through that, and you guys seem to really enjoy the video. It's a new season, so I'm going to put a like target on today's video of 300 likes on today's video. That would be massively appreciated if we could hit that. We've only gone three days since last episode finished because really we need to get started on transfers as soon as possible. As I'm sure you're all very well aware by now, we have some massive financial issues at the club. We've got half a million pounds minus half a million pounds in the bank balance, which isn't great. Uh, we've got a bank loan of 1.1 million pounds to pay with about 200,000 pounds of interest on that. So 1.8 million pounds total in debt. With that 1.8 million pounds in debt, we have 12,000 pounds to spend in the wage budget. Uh, and currently we have a committed spend of 9,000 pounds or so. So we've got about three grand we can start spending right now on wages. Obviously though, we don't want to be getting anywhere near that 12,000 pound limit. We want to try and get as much bang for our buck as possible at such a low price. Now this season has been made even more difficult by the, the club basically holding me to ransom a little bit. If we look at the club vision which came through a few days ago, it all looks okay, you know, work within the wage budget, repair the club's financial damage. Oh, and by the way, end of next season, Spanish second division pro, the division we've been promoted into, finishing the top half. Now I tried to negotiate that, but it was locked in. It is required, the board require me to do that. And if we don't do it, I risk being sacked. Now, obviously, we know that we can beat teams in the division above us. If we look at our, our, our fixtures from this season, if we go to the Copa del Rey first round, which was here, uh, we beat Rea Mahadahondo 8-6, which is a very bizarre game. We beat them 8-6. They're in the division above us, but they finished... 17th in their division and they gave us a very good run for our money um so i don't think we're any we're as good as them basically and as being as good as them is not top half from the division above us also if we look at how much these clubs are paying in the division above us on their salaries uh, you know atletico madrid be 5 million you know you've got teams like cordoba spending 2.6 million if we go to the other spanish second division league there's two of them i think we're going to the b league valencia pay 9 million lagrenes pay 2.7 million Cartagena 2.38 million. If we look at our team, we're currently spending half a million pounds on wages. So there's a big, big gap. So to try and get good value for money, we've got to start trying to sign players as soon as possible. And to do that, what we're going to do is try and sign players who've got contracts expiring in the next month or so and just see if we can get them on a cheap deal. Now, I've been scouting out these players for quite some time, scouting them out for a little while. These are players who have got six months or less on their contract. They're based in Spain, so we shouldn't have to worry about work permits or things like that. This process should have started a lot earlier on in the season. However, we got our budgets reduced quite dramatically to the point where we couldn't offer anyone a contract because we had no money in the budget to offer to players. So we have missed out on a few decent ones. 
Now, going into the new season, obviously this year we played a 4-3-3, which was fantastic. The 4-3-3 worked really, really well. Uh, we scored plenty of goals, but we could only do that because our team were good enough to do very well in this division. You know, I wouldn't play this division if we were a relegation threatened team, which I, I think we will be. So next season, I've uh, loaded in a Catanesio style of play, a 3-3-2-2. I think this could be the style of play we've got to go for next season. Never used a Catanasio before, never done that style of play before, um, but basically it's just it's just big on defending, basically. I might build another formation, around, like a 4-4-2 diamond again. I think it's a, I think because we've got such little budget, we've just got to focus on the, on the spine of the squad, the centre-backs, the centre-mids and the centre strikers. I think if we go a bit too all out on having separate wingers and wing backs and full backs, I think we've got to then, you know, pay lots more money. So I think we've got to settle in a style of play where we don't really alter from this too much. We don't spend too much on players. Now, unfortunately, we're going to be losing Randy Schneider because obviously he's moved to Getafe. We got him back on loan last season and we are going to lose him as our star centre mid man. So Randy, thank you for everything, but it's We've got to let you go properly now. We're also losing, obviously, where is he? Marco Dobrievic, because he didn't want to sign a new contract with us. He's going to Sabadell in the uh, second division, so he's gone up there instead. And then there's a couple of the players who are on big contracts. Uh, yeah, yeah, we won't renew his contract because he's taken up an awful lot of wage on his £1,000 per week. Uh, a Cipollina down here, Kenneth Cipollina. I'll do everything I can to keep him to stay at the club because it's a Cipollini. We've got to try and keep them around. Uh, but Kian Ronan, and if we look at Gabalondo and Toscano, and there's someone else in here as well, if I can find them. I'm not sure who it is. Might just be those players, actually, but I think these guys are going to end up leaving the club because of either moving to a different one or contracts are expiring. This means we need to put some priority on right backs because Gabalondo and Kian Ronan are our current right backs so they're both leaving so we need to get better players or another player in. Yaya obviously a great CDM player for us so we're going to miss him. We need another CDM coming into the squad. Uh, Dobrivik a centre back. We need to get another centre back and Randy Schneider centre mid another centre mid. So we need to strengthen the spine of the squad basically. So going back to that player search because I don't think we're going to be playing with attacking midfielders this season. We will be ignoring Jordan Holsgrove although he does look like a very very, very good player. Who I am interested in, though, is this centre-back, Jose Angel Carmona. He looks like he could be very useful uh, on a low contract at the moment as well. I think we could be getting a good value here. Now, obviously, he's probably not going to be as good as Dobrievic off the bat, but at 21 years old, could develop a little bit. Let's see what he wants in terms of a contract. Wants to be a squad player, which is absolutely fine by me. It means a lower contract for him, probably. Negotiate this. £325 a week on a two-year deal. Can we get us down to like 250 Because this would be perfect. Down to 250 Uh Minimum free release clause, leave it as it is. Let's get rid of these future wage rises to stop him earning more money at the club. He might ask for a bigger contract in terms of actual wages now. And he does. He wants 375 If we can get you down to 300 lads. 300 This could be good, please. Excellent. He's agreed to 300 That looks like a good contract to me. Welcome to the club. Fingers crossed. Just below him is a centre midfielder. Jorge Borona is three-star current ability, got some potential, 23 years old as well. Currently playing for Leganes, who played last season, not in any division by looks of things, but has played not in La Liga 2. Uh, he's basically, he's not played at any decent level by looks of things, but has got good ratings. So maybe we could be getting something here. He wants to be a fringe player. Which doesn't, if he comes in and wants to be a fringe player, it doesn't make me think he's not going to be fantastic, which does scare me a little bit. How much does he want, though, per week? 1.2k. Well, you, we can't afford you, then, I'm afraid. So that's a bit of a shame, I must say. Who else here is already on, like, cheap contracts and looks like they could be good? Uh, he's a right winger, Perez. Javi is on £900,000. Well, not on £900,000, just on £900 a week. Imagine £900,000 a week. If we sort it by potential instead, anyone else coming up that could be good? A uh, left back here in David Luna, although he's 23, so probably won't reach that potential and got 1.4k per week in his wages right now. So I don't think he'll want to join the club. A striker here in Seth, but 24 won't reach that potential, I don't think. Another striker down here though, 20 years old, Pedro Campagna. He could be okay, but we don't really need strikers. 
Oh, a 17-year-old centre-back and a 17-year-old centre-mid. They haven't got great current ability right now, but they could be cheap. Well, maybe not Raphael because on 1.1 grand a week at the moment. How much would he want if we were going to offer him a contract to be a breakthrough prospect? Also wants to be loaned out this season. We can't get rid of this, obviously, because he's got it padlocked in. And obviously, that means we can't get rid of it, as you can see. Uh, how much does he want per week? Quite a lot. £900 on a one-year deal. And we don't know if he's going to be any good or not. So let's walk away from Raphael. But the 17-year-old guy here, no Peleas from Linesse, has got five-star potential maybe. I mean, the worst comes to worst, he goes to the B team. But he could be a good squad rotation player if he was interested in joining us, which he's not. I'll be honest, what I'm seeing here isn't an awful lot of, of good stuff, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm trying to make sense of some of this, just to try and get someone in, but... Wages look very, very high. Javi Law here. He could be okay. Played at our level last season. £900 a week at his current club. How much would he want to play for us as a fringe player, which isn't a great start? £800 a week. It's too high. It's too much. We can't do it. So I think we've obviously got that one contract decided for one player. I think now it's just a bit of a waiting game, isn't it? More talks about a takeover, though. It keeps saying the takeover rumours are not to be believed, but I, I really hope a takeover does happen because we need the money. We've got some players scouted out as well who are currently at clubs, and I don't think their contracts expire anytime soon. But I am seeing a few max asking prices of zero. So Carlos Perez, for example, is finishing it in his contract, just doesn't want to join us. This is the issue. A lot of his players just will not have any interest in signing for us. Centre-back here with no club, actually. Alfredo Pedreza. Three-star current ability. Like, he could do a job for us. Our scouts seem to rate him with 79 rating, whatever that means. <laughs> could we get him in? We do need more centre-backs, to be fair. And if we can get a decent one in this guy who's on a cheap contract, how much would you like? 500. Okay, we can, we can talk to you about this. Let's bring it down to like 300. 300, get rid of these like extra ways to make money. Get rid of those. Suggest that he wants 525. How about 375? 375, come on. You can do 375, lad. You can do it. I believe in you. Come down to 425 and you'll, you'll, have, a, you'll have a deal. Still young enough to have a bit of potential on him as well. So I, I, I think he could be a good signing. Oh, there's loads of players down here we haven't got any reports on. I think what we'll do is go to all of them and just offer a trial for a week or so. Trials are going to be a big thing this summer. Uh, we're going to have to trial everyone constantly. Just trial, 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 trial. Thing is, uh, a vast majority of them are going to be absolutely terrible. Like, most of these players look to be so far. Uh, not really seeing anyone who's shining out to me as a, as a solid... Well, maybe these two... Borgia and uh, Sergio could be okay. One's a striker, one's a right back. Talk to me, Sergio Lopez, about your crossing and dribbling, which you know nothing about yet. I like what I see with Sergio, actually, already. Uh, Sergio could be one to bring in to the club, potentially. Who's this guy? He's a, a forward. We don't really care about strikers, do we? Uh, oh, there's a few, there's a couple of good ones coming through. Most of them are strikers, though, and that's the one position that we don't need. Jose Angel Carmona, though, £300 a week, centre back, 21 years old from Sevilla. He could be all right. Let's bring him in. So he's joining on the 1st of July. Great, looking forward to seeing you then. We have avoided a tax bill, surprise, surprise, given that we have lost so much money. We've got a new main kit sponsor, £68,000 per season. So one football, thank you for the uh, the extra sponsorship money there. As you can see, it's had a huge impact on our finances. Uh, the issue is the players are only on trial for a week, not four weeks like they usually would be. So we're not going to find too much information out about these players, which is a little annoying, actually. There's a guy here that we've scouted out from Sevilla called Javi Vazquez who must have played against us last season a couple of times maybe eight appearances last season uh, what I like about him though is that he is a wing back a winger and a, and, a, and a left back like he could be quite good so I kind of want to offer him a contract as well to be a left back but he wants to be an important player he wants everything done for him basically well let's get rid of the the improved coaching team let's get rid of the improved attackers and let's move this down to a regular starter suggest that he's happy with that and he wants a very cheap contract of 275 pound a week 
We can we can do that, my son. We can do that. We'll keep the minimum fee release clause low because we don't really care too much at the moment. Let's push it up to 50k. See if we can get fifty thousand pounds for him, uh, and see if we can take it down to two hundred and fifty pound a week, which he's agreed to. And all of a sudden, I'm very nervous because you, usually, if they're good, they want a lot of money. But he could be useful, particularly if we do end up using wing backs. He could be a great option for us on left wing back. When it comes to these contracts, though, uh, it's a, we've got to let them all go. I think we've got to let them all go. I don't want to, obviously, I don't want to, but. Unless we could give Kian Ronan a cheap contract. I think we've got to say goodbye to Yaya, Gabalondo and Toscano. Gabalondo's been great this season. He's been really, really... Well, I say great. A 6.66 average rating. It's actually pretty terrible. To be fair, let's let him go alongside Yaya and Toscano. Yaya, I don't want him to go. But if we offer him a new contract, look, he wants to be... If we say regular starter, suggest that. He wants... How much does he want? 500 a week. Oh, he's coming down and he's coming down in what he wants. Mustafa, if we can keep you £350 a week, £350 a week, if I lock that in, lock it in, I've, I've locked in contract length instead. That's the wrong thing, Tom, you idiot. If I bring it back down to 350 suggest, he, he, ah, we're, we're going to be in a bit of a war, aren't we? 375 375 450 is is 450 what I want is he good enough is he good enough he, 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 he probably is and to be fair I don't think we're going to find an awful lot better so he might be good enough for another season or so can we offer you the contract again please on whatever it was let's do a one year deal a one year deal let's try that they want to oh we already read on two year deal okay sorry a two year deal He's coming to the... We'll keep him around. We have decreased his wages by half. More than half, which is great. My worry is he might not... I, I, we'll see how it goes. He'll, I love Yaya, so we'll keep him around for now. Gabalondo, though, you've got to go. Uh, Gigi Toscano, you've got to go. Set those guys for release. Kenneth Cipollina, how much... How much? Two, he wants 200. How about 150? 150, lad. Let's suggest 150 to get you down a little bit. 150. 160. 160. He's agreed. And then Kian Ronan is on 220 right now. Ah, uh, I just. The thing is, I don't think he's going to develop much at all. He's not really played. We actually played 21 games this season. He, oh, Kian. If if you come, if you if we switch you to fringe player, fringe player, please, lad. Come on, fringe player. How about impact sub then? He's happy to be an impact sub negotiate he wants he's on like 220 now if we can get you down to 180 that would be amazing down to 180 pounds that would be ideal he doesn't want that though 200 210 they're just the same 220 again for another two years 220 be reasonable here with me son be re he's reasonable key and ronan stays Worst comes to worst, we can send him on loan somewhere. Worst comes to worst. In terms of the coaching staff, though, I will probably look at this off camera at some point. I'll not go through it all with you because this will take a long time to sort out. And I mean, some of these guys are very good. This fitness coach is great, but he's on a lot of money. And I need to go through and look through other fitness coaches and see how much they want. And it's, it's it'll take a long time to do that. But actually, I've got to look through this, haven't I, before... Oh, the, tri the trials end today. No, quick, come back before the trials finish. I need to see who's done well in the trials. Okay. So we've got a striker here that we don't need, so we'll ignore him. Another striker, a centre-back we've already signed to and he's 37, so we don't want him. Another winger, right-back. Okay, Sergio Lopez, the first guy that I actually kind of want to sign. A right-back can kind of play right-wing-back as well, so that'd be handy if we want to switch to a wing-back formation. His crossing and dribbling is actually decent. I like what I see, Sergio. How much, how much to be a fringe player in this squad? 600 pounds can we get you down to 400 and get rid of this unused substitute fee please 400 lad he's gonna be difficult isn't he 425 he, he's he's being stubborn 450 450 again five seven how about 525 he's happy on 525 on a one-year deal it's a bit expensive 
but I think he looks really good and we need a new right back now. Everyone else though that I'm looking at who's been on trial, no one is really jumping out to me as absolutely incredible. No one with like huge potential either so we'll ignore the rest of them but as i was about to say uh the transfer but as i was about to say contracts finish in a few days so i'm gonna pause the recording right now as alfredo padreza is coming into the club as a center back please be good we'll find out about these guys in a minute um as st joe's just want one of our b team players uh, I'll come back in a few minutes time when we seconds for you but for me it'll be like half an hour while I go and sort the staff out. Ah, Pedreza comes in straight away because he obviously didn't have a contract with anyone uh, rather than waiting for a contract to finish. So he's come in two and a half stars. Obviously not quite ideal but has got some potential and could be a good backup player. We'll see how it goes. It'll be okay. So I think I've kind of sorted out staff contracts as Kieran Ronan and Yaya both signed new contracts. Several staff members signed some new contracts too. I've offered some contracts to some other people to come into the club as well. And uh, some staff members did reject contracts and I gave them new ones that I'll try and get new contracts for again soon. But staff should be all sorted out. Uh, Cipollina has also committed his future to the club. Kenneth Cipollina this is. So he's here for another year or so. But the board have come back with some very big news because I asked earlier on, for a senior affiliate club and they've come back and so that they can get Real Betis to be our senior affiliate club. We can make one recommendation and it will be Real Betis who have got excellent training, excellent facilities. They're a La Liga club, they'll pay us 25 grand a year. We can get players for cheap, I think. Can send players on loan, no obligation to pay the player and can be recalled whenever they want to. We get a friendly, we get to keep the gate receipts. I think it looks okay. Let's do it. Let's recommend that team then and hopefully we should come back in a couple of days time to have a link with Real Betis and then what we need to do is scout out their youth teams to get plenty of players in on loan. So partnership with Betis confirmed. You love to see it. There's a bit of a background on them. They have won a La Liga Santander which is the second division. No, it's the top division. La Liga Santander is the top division. They've won it once before and they came sixth in the past season. So we've got a very good club in our hands. So Real Betis, let's have a look at their... Uh, I don't know if we can get players for free from their B team who are going to be in the same level of football as us next season. I think they're going to be in a different division though. Although that doesn't quite make sense because Betis are Seville, aren't they? So they should be in the maybe 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 AB is not north or south. I don't know what's going on. But I'm not sure if we can get players from this team on loan for free. It would make sense if we could though. Let's get a team report from Saul on the B team uh, and then let's go back to Betis and get team reports on the under 19 squad, please. Team report uh, under 19s again from Saul. And then when they come through, we'll get straight on to trying to get some of those players in on loan. So it looks like a couple of players set to sign for us. Javi Vazquez was that uh, left back who looks very good. Let's get him into the club. Uh, this guy's a fitness coach. He will come in and be the new fitness coach uh, for a little while, which would be great. And then we've got another coach coming in, Javi Fernandez, too, to replace another one. The issue is it might, they might not like this because it, the, the, uh, we're going to have to, oh, it's going to be annoying because contracts for current coaches don't end until here. So it might ask me to sack people early. So the fitness coach has come in. Fantastic stuff. He is very, very good, his new fitness coach. But Javi Fernandez, oh, it's not gone through properly because we've got too many coaches at the club. We'll come back in a few shortly. The sad thing is Dob Brievik is now homegrown at the club. He's now homegrown at the club the day he's about to leave to join Sabadell. But the Betis team report has come through. This is their B team. Uh, team report, can I see the, the players in the B team, please? I'd like to be able to see... If we just go to, how do I see? I want to see the experiment. What have I, I need, I've got us. where is it? There we go, ability. We can see ability now. Right, these guys look good. Let's try and get some of them in on loan. Although I've no idea what position they play. So actually it'd be better if I just go to general info and then just literally insert column. Ability, not ability, scouting. Go to scouting, Tom. Where's scouting? Scouting, ability. And that's, where's that gone? Insert column, scouting, ability. Why is it not coming in? Potential works fine. I can get potential in there. Just scouting. Ability. Doesn't want to come in. Well, I've had to bodge something together very quickly so I can see ability and potential. It's a bit of a weird one, but let's have a look. This Rodri guy is actually loan listed, which is interesting. Uh, Rodri is, is he, he's a centre mid. Let's try and get him on loan. They want him to play with high quality. Of course, they want him to play with high quality players. That's annoying. Who's this? Lucas Emmanuel. He is a right winger. We don't need a right winger. Uh, a right back, centre back, left back. He plays right back and centre back and left back. Make an offer. How, how much? 
we can't have them yet. I guess maybe because it's not gone into the new transfer window yet, maybe we can't. I'll, basically, I'll look for players that I want now, and then the ones that I want, I will just add to a short list. Add to short list for a month. To be fair, there's only three that I can really sort of see make a big impact in the squad. Literally, all the others are just strikers or wingers, so we'll ignore that for now. And now the under-19s uh, team as well. We can get the team report on the Betis under-19 team. Uh, where we can, can we go back to whatever this was? We can, no, there's no one really good here. So it's only the, the not great. But now the transfer window has opened, uh, what I assume we can do is actually offer loans to these players now. Before we do that though, Javi Vazquez and Jose Angel Carmona have both joined the club. Send them both on English intensive language courses. Vazquez, a wing back, looks really actually quite good oh you love to see it fantastic and jose angel carmona also looks pretty good at center back too bids being made instantly for anthony ward as we would have expected but very very low bids now i'm going to reject all of these he'll get very cross with me however we're we are very much in debt he is very very good he's got a minimum fee release clause of five million euros or pounds um We'll just keep offering him out for five mil. But what I think we might have to do instead, if we lock in that five mil, we might have to like lower it to 2.5 million and just try and get clauses in there. Annoyingly, Cordoba also want to sign Sergio Lopez, who we want to get it right back. So hopefully Sergio Lopez doesn't join them. Oh, Valencia. Valencia coming with a 2.8 million pound bid, which we can negotiate for Anthony Ward. Now I don't want to sell him. I really don't want to sell Anthony Ward, but I'll be honest with you, the club financial situation depends on us selling him, really. I mean, Anthony, you've been superb for the past two seasons. You've got us promoted, basically. But it, it, it's time. It really is time. We've got to do it. We've got to squeeze every penny possible out of him. Additional clauses, by the way. We need to get in a Ranger friendly. That would be good for us. And also loan back length. How about end of the season? Maybe a friendly is too much. If we get loan back length and add in, uh, where is it, percentage of next sale, 50%. Lock these in, say three and a half, four million, suggest. They've accepted that. They have accepted that. To loan him back for the season, 50% of whatever they sell him for next time around, or whatever a clause says, and four million. We'd only ever get one more million out of them, which obviously we'd love to, but I think if they trigger the release fee clause, these things go away from what I remember from Spanish football. So I'm honest, I'll am honest. i be honest with you, I don't think we get much of a better deal than that. So Anthony Ward, we'll have you back this season on loan, so we don't have to worry about it too much, but this you have saved the club financially, Anthony Ward, so I'm going to accept it. What I'll do as well, transfer, offer to clubs... 4.9 million. I'll offer that out, lock that in, and also lock in a selling, no, uh, percentage of next sale, 50%. Lock that in, add in loan back for the season, lock it in, offer to clubs, uh, on the transfer list, offer to clubs. See if anyone buys on that. Apparently in La Liga, there were only three players let go from youth contracts, and these are David Villan, who looks terrible, uh, Jesus Arez, who looks terrible, but Matteo Tomic looks like he could be okay, maybe three-star current ability as a centre mid. How much would you like per week, my friends? Uh, suggest those promises. £300. If you get down to 200 on a two-year deal with a minimum free release clause of £40,000 instead. Get rid of that. He wants a one-year deal. Come on, you can, you can do it, lads. You can do a one-year deal on two fifty. That he, he could be all right, you know. Oh, and whilst I think about it as well, let's go back to, to Betis B. Ah, good. The ability and potential ability are all still there. Usually when you get a, a team report, these last for like two days and they just disappear. So let's try and offer in for... Tony, the centre mid transfer, make an offer loan. They don't want to let him go at the moment. That's annoying. Uh, Carlos Monoz, transfer, make an offer loan. Don't want to let him leave at the moment. Uh, Fran Delgado, transfer, make an offer loan. They'll let him go, but I, I want the other two. So Delgado is the right back. He could actually be, be quite useful, to be fair. So I'm happy to have Delgado, but I want these two guys too. 
I mean, to be fair, we could take any of them, couldn't we? Rodri, how about you again? Transfer, make an offer, loan, high quality players needed. So I think what we do now then is uh, go back to this screen and look for players with expired contracts who are based in Spain. Sort it by ability first and foremost. Ability, is that sorted by ability? Unfortunately, it actually is because none of them look very good. Let's take the first, in fact, what we should do is get rid of players that we don't want. So players that can play in centre mid, at centre back, CDM as well. Let, let, let's look for this sort of a squad first. Let's look for the best ones that we've got scouted out thus far and try and get, mm, well, none of them look that good, do they? Uh, let's go down to this guy and get, report, no, uh, tr trial. Not They're already on trial. What, it says terminate trial because oh, Tomic is there. Right, this is annoying, isn't it? Uh, let's get you guys offer a trial for four weeks. Yes, please, that'd be great. And you guys down here, let's offer you a trial for four weeks. Then what we'll do is get rid of that and then add in a condition of uh, general. Is it general? And then go to world reputation. Uh, at, is at least okay. There's only five players there, at least decent. 91 players. Let's go to OK and let's get these guys on trial first. Transfer off a trial and then we'll get all these guys coming through and then we'll get rid of anyone who's not good. At the same time, let's clear that and let's look for players who are listed for loan and also interested in coming to loan for us. And there's a few players who are interested. Rodri is interested in coming to loan for us, but they won't let him come to us, which is rather annoying. If we sort it by value, first and foremost, let's scout out the players we know nothing about. But going back to that ability, who here is good that we could actually get? This guy from Malaga, centre-back. We've got a few centre-backs now, though, so... Let's just sort of see where the squad sits for now. In the meantime, all these trials are also coming through. Anyone looking good? Uh, there's a few players actually with potential, maybe like three star. These aren't that bad. It's not as bad as last season for sure. So looking at the squad with players in on trial, we'll get rid of these like really rubbish ones down here. This guy as well. But uh, I, I want to keep the other ones around for a little bit. If we go back to the player search, we clear that again. And we go back to looking for players with expired contracts. If I can find it. Exp expired, please. Uh, who have a world reputation, if I can find that again. World reputation of uh, okay, or was it decent? I think it was decent. 116 players now, if we get rid of the, the loan bit as well, actually, get rid of that. Um, 116 players, let's then sort it by age. So the youngest ones first, and then we'll just get the youngest ones in on trial as well. So all the young ones are now coming in on trial who've got a decent reputation, which should mean they've got good potential and actually good current ability too. This guy, three-star current ability, five-star potential maybe. That could be useful. Uh, most of these players though, because they have got a good, good world reputation, usually means they have got a good bit of potential behind them as well. And a few of these guys could fit in relatively well. So what I'm going to do is probably just sort of go forward a few weeks. I'm not going to try and sign anyone for a few weeks. Uh, obviously, I'll let you know if players do join the club because of contracts that got offered out right now. One of those is Sergio Lopez, the right back, not wanting to join us because Cordoba have offered him 1.5 grand a week, which is fair enough. We offered him like £400 a week. So I can understand why he's gone there instead of coming to us. But this Matteo Tomic guy has joined us and hopefully... He looks as good as he looked when we got him on trial. Please be good. Two and a half stars of current ability, but five star potential. Could be a good squad player, I think. So it's not it's not the worst deal. But as I say, I'll push forward a little bit and hopefully we'll get an update soon on how the squad's looking. Weirdly, Anthony Ward has now just withdrawn his transfer request, um, even though he's about to be sold to Valencia. I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it because I don't want to scupper the deal. I, I'd, I'd like four million pounds, please. That would be great. We've got a clause with Randy Schneider. We could sell it now for £169,000 and get that into the bank, but I don't think I want to do that just yet. His contract, he's got a contract until 2025 with Getafe. Surely he'll start to go up a little bit by then. Oh, so here it is. Anthony Ward set to go on, on, not on loan, set to be sold to Valencia for £4 million. Anthony... You're back for another season. We love you to pieces and we'll try and get you back at some point because you are a fantastic goalkeeper. But you are saving the club financially right now. Without you, 
we would be very, very stuck. So we'll accept this, four million pounds and he's gone, 50% of the next sale as well. So hopefully that'll be for a lot of money at some point as Fran Delgado has rejected us, weirdly. Uh, let's go back to him, make an offer, loan again. How about a, a, a star player? We'll make you a star player, Delgado. But Anthony Ward is gone, he's gone. But technically he's back because he's now on loan from Valencia, as you can see, which is great. So we've gone for another season. But if we look at the bank balance now, come on, four million pounds. Well, not four, but 3.4 million pounds in the bank. Projection wise, it's still going to be terrible for the next few years. But this transfer has kept us afloat financially for a long time to come. The wage budget has also increased to 17,000 pounds as well. So we've got more money to spend on players. Anthony, you've, you've literally saved us. Thank you. So although it is very sad that he's gone, um, the board are now very happy that I've repaired the club's financial damages. Uh, the chairman just, just denies consortium interest, which does mean that it could be a takeover still. Could be a takeover still. Season expectations then. The board wants us to finish mid-table or top half. They're the only options here. Uh, we have to go for mid-table. Confirm that mid-table in there as... The link with Lincoln City has been terminated. Why? Why is that? I'll be honest with you, this is not meant to happen. Uh, for goodness sake, this was meant to be a big secret. And then this, I basically programmed this to be an affiliate club in there for a little while because, you know, it would make sense, wouldn't it, to be an affiliate club? I, I didn't expect it to ever get cancelled. No, no one was meant to know about this until about four or five seasons into this save. And then I'll be like, oh, we've got a link with Lincoln City now. This is getting exciting. It's not bloody hell a lot of things that i've wanted to happen in this save file that i programmed in at the start in the editor just haven't happened oliver buff as our assistant manager didn't happen he left the club lincoln city as an affiliate club technically did happen but no one was meant to know about it until next season or the season afterwards and it's you hate to see it why has it been terminated the announcement was made as lincoln's which, which one this this team their reputation is no longer in the club's best interests bloody hell well, that's annoying. Um, we'll get Lincoln back one day, maybe, hopefully. But it might be a long time in the future now. Either way, we have now moved into the Spanish Second Division Pro A, which is actually huge, to be fair. Uh, previous winners are Hercules and the Real Madrid Academy. We've got teams like Rayo Vallecano B, Rayo Mejada Honda, Racing Santander, Numancia, uh, Cordoba, Villarreal B. Oh, there's some big teams here. Hang on, University Mafia. They've come through this as well. How did they get in here? I swear we played against them like a couple years ago in, in our division. Do they, do they, oh, they move divisions. They move from our group to a different group, as you can see behind my head. And they came second and got promoted. So we reunited with uh, with University Murphia. The all important question is uh, season preview. Twelfth is our prediction. So mid table's not too unrealistic. So actually, maybe I've been a bit too cautious with a Catanasio style of play. But this is too attacking. Maybe or is it? It might not be. You know. So maybe our squad's not actually that bad. Oh, you hate to see it. That Betis guy, he's gone elsewhere on loan to a, a club in... Hang on. W w what league is this? Romania. He's gone to a club in Romania. W why would he go there? What have Romania got that Gibraltar doesn't have? I can't believe that. So this still leaves us hunting for a right back. We still don't have a right back at the club, actually. Hopefully one of the guys we've got on trial right now who will look through in a few days' time uh, is a right back who's good enough. So, beginning of pre-season is coming around now. The players are coming back from their summer holidays and they're going to get ready and raring to go for the brand new season. Probably is a good time now, actually, to actually start looking at these players that have come in on trial. The scouts and the physios and the, 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 the coaches, they've started to have a look at these players a little bit. They've probably got a bit more of a better idea on how good these players are. So, let's sort it by current ability. And there's a couple in here who could be okay. I'll be honest, none of them are right backs, which is a little frustrating apart from this guy down here, but he doesn't look particularly good. We'll go up to the top ones. Uh, this guy, Sergio Santiago Ramos, is a striker, the one position that we don't actually need. Centre back, we don't need striker. We, uh, we don't need most of these players, if I'm honest with you. This Jamie guy, centre mid, he would come in as the third best centre that we've got at the club. He could be relatively useful to have actually in and around. How much does he want per week on a contract as a fringe player? He would like a grand. No, you can't. I'll be honest, none of these players are actually jumping out to me as being actually good or useful. Um, so I'm a little 
a little annoyed. I'm going to cancel a vast majority of them because uh, they're just sort of wasting our time. And well, I say it waste. Let's look at the potential before we do this. Let's not jump and, and dismiss everyone. There's potential here in a couple of players who are quite young, both left-sided centre backs and, and left backs who haven't really got an awful lot going for them. I must say, uh, are they any good at passing? This guy's got the seven passing. But I'm, I'm not I'm not really seeing it. Nah, I, I'm happy to get rid of everyone. I'm happy to get rid of everyone pretty much who's on trial at the moment. Randy Schneider. Let, let, let's start back with him. Can we get you back on loan again, please, Randy? Uh, it's now gone up to £1,500 a month. Which are a week, not even a week. It's a week. Oh, that's too much. Can we bring this down a little bit to 30% again? Because that 30% that worked well for me. Suggest that. They want... Bit randy no maybe we go back to betis get another team report on betis because all those reports have now gone if we look at them they're all gone so we'll, we'll go back to betis maybe and just try and get anyone on loan i think having numbers in the squad this season is going to make a, a big impact for us okay so betis we've got a right back here a right back here who is more of a centre mid apparently uh could have very good crossing or terrible crossing is not very good at dribbling uh, but if we could get him in, if only we could get Carlos Manoz in. Carlos Manoz is class. Transfer, make an offer. Do they want to let him come to us yet? Still not yet. I mean, this Lucas Emmanuel guy, he can, he's more a winger, but can play right back. Make an offer. Can we get him? No, we can't. So we might just have to go for Anthony, who is just not very good, but will come to us on loan. He, even he won't come to us. What's the point, Betis? The one player we did want has gone to bloody Romania instead. I don't understand that one. We want Rodri, but Rodri can't come to us because we're not good enough, apparently. There's another player listed here, but we don't want him because he's just he's, he's a winger. We don't use wingers. What's the point, Betis? What is the point in this? Let's scout out everyone available at right back. Reports. Get scout reports. Right backs with no contracts. Anyone, in, it was quite a lot of players interested, but how do we know if they're any good or not? That's the issue. Let's sort it by determination. The higher the determination usually means they're, they're decent. So let's go to these guys and offer them a trial. I would put in things like crossing and dribbling, but we don't know anything about most of these players. Like if we click on this random guy, for example, we know nothing about him really. So we can't really do the, the crossing and dribbling stuff. Raul Jr. is a little bit upset at the moment because he's not got a new contract or wants a new contract, basically. Andre, can you sort this out for me, please? Can you talk to him and see what he says? See if he ignores this, but he can't. So let's have a little chat with Raul, who is, is coming very negative, saying, I'm very busy, so I hope you make this worth my while. Mate, you, you've you come to me being cross. Why, why are you... I'm very upset about this. Right, I've heard you want to get a new contract. He says, it's no longer appropriate for my current standing. I want a new deal. How much is young Raul Jr. on? 350 a week. To be fair, he, he is worth more, given he had, you know, 25 league goals last season. But his temperamental personality is obviously being very temperamental right now. Now, he's furious. He's furious. Look at him. He's furious. His agent is also quite angry. Um, I'm, I'm happy to talk about a new contract with you. We've got a bit more money in the in the budget now, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to talk about a new contract. But I'm not very happy with your attitude, Raul Jr. Uh, offer a new contract. Important player is fine. He wants £900 a week. We can give you 750. Let's get rid of these. Uh, you can have your goal bonuses in there. Unused for the fee. But this minimum fee release clause needs to be 4.5 million, lad. 4.5 mil. And he's happy with that if he wants it. gets more wages. Well, I'm going to keep pushing this up. 6.5, which he's happy with. 6.5 million for Raoul and 800 pound a week seems like a relatively good deal given how well he does score goals. So these two right backs, both of them look all right. Although this guy's only 19 years old, who's more of a left back, actually, than a right. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? He's got a fairly strong right foot, though, which is quite good. We could, how much does he want, this youngster? This young 19-year-old? How much? Two, we can get, like, get him on a two-year deal, £200 a week. That seems okay to me. The other guy, Salvi Ramirez, he could be the one to go for, but again, his crossing and dribbling are pretty low. Just annoying knowing the players we could have had that we've lost to other clubs. He's the best guy that we've seen since Salvi Ramirez. So I feel like maybe we just do need to get him in and just 
hope for the best. How much would you like per week as a fringe player a grand? I can't do it. I can't do that. He's making it too hard for me. I just I just can't do it. Logano making offers for Crosdale. Uh, Crosdale's got a minimum fee release clause of £250,000. Um, we're going to reject this, obviously, because we want to keep Crosdale. And we don't need to sell players now because we sold other players. But Crosdale now wants a new contract. A very big contract. Um, his agent is doing this. Prefers his clients to stay at their clubs, even if elsewhere would see them profit financially. So his agent's actually quite good in the terms that he wants us to stay at the club, but obviously wants us to give him a, a big contract. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to walk away from that, which Crosdale is now upset about. Uh, Andre, can you sort this out for me, please? I'd love it if you could do. Please sort it out. Uh, he has done. Andre, thank you. Andre's probably slipped him a few bills under the door and helped him out a bit. So I don't really feel like we've seen that many transfers come through yet, if I'm honest with you. Uh, let's have a quick recap as Raul Jr. signed his new three-year deal. Amazing stuff. Happy with his new contract. Uh, let's have a quick look at the transfer history of no one, apparently. This must all count towards last season somehow. Um, it looks like it does. So these guys downwards are the players that we've, we've brought in. Anthony Ward technically was here anyway. So only four players we've actually brought in. Two from Sevilla. One in Jose Angel Camara, who is... Uh, Carmona, sorry, who's a centre-back. Javi Vazquez, left-back, who's very good. Alfredo Pedreza, another centre-back. And Tomic, a, a, a midfielder. So we, to be fair... The turnover's not been that bad. I guess as well what we need to remember is that this division that we're in right now, all these teams are playing at the division we played at last season two years ago. So actually, it's not that huge of a step up. We just need to get in a right back or so and we'll be all right. Uh, transfer, make an offer, loan him. They now want us to pay £1,500 a week for him. Uh, however, in our wage budget now, I don't really think we're going to make that many additions to the squad, many more. We are, we've got a lot of room in there. I tell you what, let's make the offer for Randy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I, we've got a right back. Javier, he's joined the club. I mean, I think he's technically a left back, actually. Um, I think he's more of a left back than a right back, but can play right back, and we will train him to be a right back, I think. So here he is, two and a half stars of current ability. It's nothing special. Uh, he is a left back as opposed to a right back. He's two star, I'll be honest, Tran development training. Let's get him training to be a right back. He already is trained to be a right back, which is weird. But right back, wing back, please, on support. Additional focus. Can we get him training his right foot a little more? Is that a thing? I don't think it actually is. So we've got someone to play there at least. But obviously, uh, a couple more players there would be quite nice. But I think we're in a good position. Uh, ready for the new season. I I think now is a good time to finish up today's transfer special. I can't really see much more happening for us other than Randy Schneider joining and the other right back that we've got a contract to. I can't see much more than that. Obviously, no one on loan looks pretty decent either, which is a little bit annoying. Um, and Betis won't let us have anyone. So I don't think there's going to be much more going on. Uh, obviously, I'll update you next time if there is more going on. But for me... That is the end of today's episode. And I think actually maybe a good reason Betis don't want to loan as players is because they're literally in our division. I did not even realise that. I should have done, but I, I didn't. So we're going to play the B team of our parent club tomorrow. We'll come back for the Betis game tomorrow, definitely. And probably this other game as well. But that, that, that makes perfect sense now. I can't believe I only just realised that. I remember even saying actually earlier on today's episode that they were in the Division Pro A. And then we've gone in there and my my own fault. Either way, we'll come back for that one tomorrow. That'll be really good fun. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have done, drop a like on the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.